All right, ready? Avogadro is law. Objectives, pause it, peruse it if you so wish. All right, so who exactly was Avogadro? Well, Amadeo Avogadro was an Italian mathematician and physicist. He came up with Avogadro's law. Interestingly, he did not discover Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles per mole, but it is named after him. What he did discover was Avogadro's law. So what is a mole? A mole is a counting unit, like a dozen. So you know a dozen means 12. But a mole is a counting unit that means the amount of a substance. So one mole of anything contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. So to get to a dozen, that counting unit, you just have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, a dozen. Okay, to get to a mole, you'd have to keep counting 1, 2, 3, all the way to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And then you'd say, that's a mole. So it's a big, big, big number. <clears throat> what is volume? Volume is the amount of space occupied by an object. So what exactly is Avogadro's law? We talked about Avogadro's number, which he didn't discover. He just got um, credit in terms of it was named after him. Okay, equal volumes of gases contain equal numbers of molecules, but the gases must be at the same temperature and pressure. It doesn't necessarily have to be at STP, but it must be the same. So both at zero degrees, both at 100 degrees, both at 400 degrees, doesn't matter, same temperature, same pressure, then we can compare them. If they have the same volume, they have the same number of molecules. So this is Avogadro's law. If we have a liter of hydrogen and a liter of nitrogen and a liter of oxygen at the same temperature and pressure, when we have the same volume, we have the same number of molecules inside. So you can see here's a visual here showing you the number of molecules inside the balloons is the same, same volume, same number of molecules, as long as we have the same temperature and the same pressure. That is Avogadro's law. So equal volumes of a gas contains the same number of molecules as long as we have the same temperature and same pressure. So if we double the molecules, we double the volume. If we have the molecules, we have the volume. If we quadruple the particles, we quadruple the volume. Okay, that's Avogadro's law. So which two balloons here have the same volume? So remember, according to Avogadro's law, it means they have the same number of particles. So it would be those two balloons, same volume, same number of particles. Now, another piece of information. For one mole of a gas at STP, we know the volume. So if we have one mole of a gas and we have that gas at STP, automatically we know the volume. So remember, one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. So if we have one mole, we have that many particles. And for that particular number at STP, we automatically know the volume. And that number is 22.4 liters. So at STP, if we have one mole of any gas, doesn't matter what gas, it is going to occupy 22.4 liters, again, for a gas. So here's how I remember it. Point four. Okay, so one mole of any gas at STP occupies point four liters. Okay, so at STP, one mole of a gas occupies how many liters? Point four, twenty two point four liters. So, what balloon has the same number of particles as three point zero liters of nitrogen gas? So, remember, 
same number of particles at the same temperature and pressure is related to the volume. So which one has the same volume? 3.0 liters. And there you have it. There is Avogadro's Law. I hope that you learned something new today.